It's attractive when a man is confident in himself, like a choice like that, like I'm doing this program, it's like solid. He's doing something that's, like you said, bettering himself, which will better himself for his family. His, it's not like he's doing things that aren't amazing for him, right? Making choices that are going to be detrimental to their family. So it has a feeling of like, it's safe, we can trust him. Hey guys, welcome back to the TPM show. Uh, once again, I am joined and graced by my beautiful wife, Erin. Erin, thanks for being here. Hello, hello. Happy to be here. So we've got a lot of feedback on the last time you're here. So thank you for coming back. And um, great that we have the staff taking care of the kids while you're here, which is perfect yes. that we have this time. Uh, so we want to take advantage of it and opportunity. One of the requests that we got from the guys was to get a woman's perspective on what it's like for a man to go through the program, the activation method. And so what I mean by that, just to give context and clarity to this question or statement, if you will, is you've had the opportunity of meeting a lot of the men that have come here. Mm -hmm. They've come here, they've gone through the program, uh, they've come to the TPM ranch, you've had a chance to meet them in person, hear mm -hmm. their stories. Mm -hmm. You've also worked with some of the men's wives coaching them through mm -hmm. their journey so you've seen all multiple sides of the the, the spectrum, including mine, going mm -hmm. through things. And the, when I deal with the guys, so I'm sure it's a little biased, of course. But you also have a an opportunity, a very unique opportunity that you can speak one from a woman's perspective, two as a female coach that coaches the wives of some of the guys that go into the program, mm -hmm. and three you've met many of the men that have been through the program. So that's what I want to talk today about is getting your perspective on what the powerful man is all about and the journey and the transformations that you've seen firsthand with some of the men. Awesome. Okay. Uh, what the powerful man is all about. Um, first of all, it's like such an awesome experience to be able to meet the men and they're just such great guys. And it's, it feels like, um, a full like complete circle for me to be able to like experience them in person. It's such a gift. Um, yeah. So the powerful man, it is a man who like simply put is really, really developing his relationship with himself to be the best version of himself first and foremost for himself. And then also so that everybody else in his life gets that version of him, whether married, kids, um, people he works with, we're all in relationship in some capacity. I think most of the men on here are in long-term partnerships um, and fathers and business owners. So there's a lot of really important relationships there. And the most important one is the one with himself, right? So um, you guys and your wonderful coaches and you and Tim and everybody really, really, really support um, and it's really kind of like an unlearning to relearning, you know, how to be the best version of yourself. And we can go into all the details you want, but that's the short. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't yeah. want to give the experiences away. Um, but we do have something that happens. And you've had a chance to meet these guys. And you've come to the tail end of Alpha Resets and met the guys on mm -hmm. the other side of part of their journey. The Alpha Reset being one of our transformational three-day events that we have that almost all the men say the most significant moment of their lives, mm -hmm. uh, if not top two. Um, you see them on the other side of it, but also, also there's the wives on the other side of those men, Yes, right? And these are, as you said, they're fathers, they're businessmen. They're here to better themselves for themselves, but also for the people around them. Uh, but the term power, that powerful man in today's society can be a very um, triggering mm. phrase, if you will, and it can bring up a lot of emotions, especially for women who don't understand. Mm -hmm. Speak to it from a woman's point of view. Um, what you know, don't go into the details of the program, of course, mm -hmm. but what you know from when the men enter the program, from where they come out of the program, and how that affects their partner and their families. Okay, I would say a majority of the men come in from a place of confusion, uh, exhausted, frustrated, disconnected. Uh, just like life's not working really well. It might look good from the outside, but it, it's not working great on the inside. Um, and after going through the program and, you know, putting in the work um, and getting to do the Alpha Reset, um, condensed version is they come out realizing that the most important relationship is with themselves. Um, how do we to love themselves and know their worth? Um, and 
Can I pause it right there real quick? Yes. Yeah, thanks. Um, so what I'm thinking of, though, is from a woman's perspective, what is the woman seeing before a guy joins sure. the activation method? Okay. And then like... What is, who's what, after? Yeah, what's that environment look like? Okay. I, want, I want a woman's... I know what it is. I know deeply what it is for the man and for the woman, but I want to get... A, okay, so the version she's... If you're talking to one of your girlfriends... Yeah. So you're oh, I'm talking to one of my clients. I hear it all the time. Okay. Yeah, I know you've talked to your clients, but just say it's one of your girlfriends. <laughs> girlfriends are chit chatting. Yeah, you're having a gl- cup of tea, glass of coffee, whatever. And she's talking about, she's like, yeah, things just aren't working out as well as they could. You say, because you don't know as much about, because de- you and I don't talk about the details of the program. Right. You just get the opportunity to meet the men. So what it's like for her with him before and then after? Yeah. Her experience? Yes. Okay. Um, usually it's some version of, from her perspective, he's super stressed out. Uh, he's not available. He is physically in the house, but he is not present. He's not really involved. He's super um, just like short fuse, really a lot of feeling of walking on eggshells to not piss him off because um, that happens so easily. Um, and just a lot of needs not getting met from emotional, physical, spiritual, um, and from her perspective, like she's holding it all together because uh, she can't count on him or trust him. And then she finds out, wait a minute, he's joining this program called The Powerful Man. Mm-hmm. What's occurring for her? Or what could be occurring for her? I know there's a lot going on. It's there. like a, it's this weird paradox of like, oh, my God, finally, you are doing something to better yourself. Like I've been probably asking and begging for years to the other paradox of like, oh my gosh, what does this mean? He's going to change. Like, is he, what is this result of this? Is he going to leave me? Like, cause change can be quote unquote scary to the relationships that we're in. Um, so it's a paradox of like really excited slash very scared. And, and I can imagine that, right? Mm-hmm. Cause you know, you don't know what's coming on their side. Uh, these men are now investing capital, so money, mm-hmm. into a program. And especially when things aren't going that great, money mm-hmm. can always be a, 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 a division in a relationship. It's one of the biggest things people fight about. Uh, but then also time, right? Mm-hmm. Now all of a sudden here you have a businessman, notoriously short on time or what have you, is now going to be taking more time away from his family to do something that she doesn't know much about. And his attention. And his attention. And his energy. And his energy, yes. All great points. And so now you have the powerful man, which you described really eloquently uh, earlier. Now, if your girlfriend's listening to this right now, mm-hmm. right, how would you describe the men that you meet on the other side of the activation? So the men that you've met have been on the other side of the activation method, as well as our transformational program, the Alpha Reset. Um, but the men you've met in general are a good sample size mm-hmm. of the men we work with. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first thing is women will understand, I'll explain it in terms of feelings, is they feel grounded. So it's like they are in touch with themselves. Their energy is grounded and confident. Um, they are happy. Their their faces literally look younger. Um, that's like the first layer of it. But they just, they literally look different because they feel different on the inside. Awesome. And when you think about a guy going through this journey, again, I'm not going to say your friend's name, one one of your friends I'm thinking of, if you were just to describe like, she's like, hey, what is this program about? Like, give me the gist of it from your understanding of it. Right. Well, well, how I'd explain it to a woman. Yeah. Um, I would say something like, like I said before, I was like, look, the most important we have with ourselves, the relationship we have is the one we have with ourselves. Um, as we get into adulthood, we all get busy and torn in all these different directions. Um, and the most powerful and, um, effective thing that he can do is heal the relationship with himself, grow himself, learn how to have tools and a support system to implement all these things that he's going to learn that he will be the best version of himself because anybody that honors themselves first is able to honor other people Anybody that knows how to treat themselves well will treat other people well. Anybody that knows how to love themselves well will love other people well. So you're actually going to get the the version of him that you've been desiring. Um, and what that takes is for him to do all those things that we just talked about and have a support group around it. Yeah, that's very true, right? Mm-hmm. We all can use that. 
I'll play the role of your girlfriend and I'll ask questions for you. You let me know. It's going to be a hard one. <laughs> You're going to be my girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be your girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> I'll change my voice. Um, so um, I'm just going to pick up, I'll pick Colton because he's behind the video camera as the name. But um, yeah, but what if Colton goes through this and it just completely changes him? Um, here's the thing is like, has it been hard? And have you been com complaining about who he is for years? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yes, he's going to grow and change and it will be a version of him that is different. So that can rock like the equilibrium of the dynamics. But you guys have outgrown those dynamics anyway. You're not happy. He's not happy, really. So with him getting happier and doing and learning how to honor himself and again, having support in that, you will get a version of him that you probably haven't seen since the beginning, but it will also be a much more mature version of him. Is he going to be a woman hater? No, opposite. What is the opposite? Um, somebody that has respect for for both men and women and the differences about it and learn um, just some basic like biology and ways that women and men are different and how to support you um, as his women being the best version of you. And you know the idea is to reduce the conflict and so he has a better understanding of why you do what you do and why he does what he does and um, have a respect and a love for the differences. Is he going to come out of this program trying to manipulate me? Manipulate you? Yeah. Um, no, no, he's not. There's hopefully with all this understanding of himself and you, there's going to be a lot more of him knowing how to lead and be confident and loving and um, not as much of the, the low level manipulation stuff that can happen. Exactly. Um, is it going to take away from Colton being a great father to my kids? Oh, no, he'll be a better father because he it literally always comes back to relationship with yourself. Um, he will have more love and connection with himself. So he'll have more to give to his children. Like I've, the best gift you can give to your children is a happy parent. Agreed. Um, is Colton going to is he going to lose his drive in business? No, he'll get more. But he'll be able to hone it in in a way where he might not be spread as thin because he, he'll be able to really focus and put his time and attention on what matters most and will, in men's language, move the needle and be most effective, um, but also learn skills and ways to transition to be turned into, you know, husband and father. Awesome. What other questions would, would a woman... would a woman ask you, the girlfriend. A woman would want to know the details of what happens being in the program, <laughs> but just that's, that's how we're wired. Yeah, but, for sure. Um, that's not for me to share. Well, yeah, well, we don't, we don't, we don't yeah. share them all uh, publicly because you know it's just it's not the right venue. Yeah. We actually give away almost all the information in the program through this podcast mm -hmm. and through sharing it freely. We've done over seven hundred episodes um, at this point which if you went back and listened to all of them and implemented them mm -hmm. and had good foresight and coaching, you'd be good. That's all you would need. Mm -hmm. um, it's just the podcast is too hard to systematize into the methodology that we have for the activation method. I think a woman would also want to know from her man, like, why, why now? What about this program? Why now? Like, just why? Here's, here's a question for you, and I'm going to switch gears. Mm -hmm. um, but I see this phenomenon. I, I think I know the answer, um, but I see it happen a lot. It's... Some men will join the activation method, and as soon as they join, within one week, they start turning around their marriage. From a woman's perspective, why do you think that is? Just a woman's perspective. Their energy. Do you think it's also because now they've always been talking about things, and now they're actually doing it? Mm -hmm. Their wives are seeing them take action? Mm -hmm. And we say that a lot at the end of this thing. I say, in the moment of insight, take massive action. And I think a lot of times from talking to the guys, they've been so walking on eggshells themselves that they're set on the fence for so, for so long, waiting to make a decision, or maybe their wife's not ready to make the decision, and so they're waiting for their wife to come back to them, and they're they're held in this middle ground mm -hmm. where no decision ever gets made. Mm -hmm. And then um, what happens, we have a great testimonial we did uh, with Derek and his wife, uh, an amazing couple, an amazing family, went out to, to Canada to go see them, mm -hmm. and sat down and shared some time with their family. And um, one of the things he said to his wife was, I'm doing this program. And she looked at him like, like you're like kind of like, what? 
and she shared with us, and it's on the video. And uh, guys, you can go look at the actual testimonial pages and the powerfulman.com forward slash results. She's like, wow, it was actually kind of a turn on that he's never like, I'm doing this. There was no discussion. There was no like, mm -hmm. let's debate about it. Do you think a lot of women are, women are secretly hoping that their man will take action like that and be assertive to better themselves for their family? Yes, 100%. Are you sure about that? <laughs> you didn't need any time to think about that. Mm -mm. Yeah. Why, why is that? Because um, it's attractive when a man is confident in himself and he's doing like a choice like that, like I'm doing this program. It's like solid and it's also he's doing something that's like you said bettering himself which will better you know himself for his family his but it's not like he's like doing things that aren't amazing for him right making choices that are going to be detrimental to their family um it's just it's, it's it has a feeling of like it's safe we can trust you mm. and what do women want right seen heard desired and be in a safe space mm -hmm. right those four things we connection have. connection a lot of things women want but <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like in, in like a biological way like yeah if we feel connected to you it it is brings us a feeling of safety and safety in our relationship uh, yes physical emotional safety will allow us to be more women or feminine around our our men so it's it's really really important yeah and it's a double-edged sword though right i know we're getting off topic here but i love this conversation um it's one of the things I love about having you here on the show. And so in order for a, a woman to be connected to her man, she needs to feel heard first in the relationship. Is that a fair? One of, yes. One, one, of, one of many things. Yeah. Um, if I was going to give like a cheat sheet to the guys, like feeling connected and how in a way like your woman, just like you want to feel like any man wants to be like, I want to feel like her man she wants to feel like your woman and like your attention on her who she is like feeling like what she's interested in what she's talking about um i'll come back to feelings in a minute is going to make her feel safe and connected to you um not attention about the logistics and who handle getting kids where that's not making her feel seen but like your attention 100% on her. Um, do you want me to talk about feelings for a minute? Yeah, go for okay. it. So a way that I feel like the men will understand this is like the way men relate to their opinions, like that they are very trustworthy. You can trust your own opinions and they are facts, right? You only trust the facts of things of how you got to your opinion. That is part of like who you are and you want those to be heard and respected. The way men relate to their opinions is the way men relate, uh, women relate to their feelings. Our feelings are us, just the way your opinions are you. So for like a really big area where a couple can, can increase their success is really respecting those. Because I think we can get into like, yes, sarcasm can be really funny. But when you start to discount a woman's feelings, when she's like, oh, I just feel like this and this and this, like that is her. That's not, that's not like a, oh, that's funny, like, there's time and place for funny, but you're starting to discount her in the same way if a man said an opinion about something that he, you know, has a lot of knowledge about or just an area in life that he has put a lot of time and effort and a woman makes fun of it, like you're feeling like a disc, she's discounting you, right? So it's just, it's just a tool to learn like the level of importance of a woman's feelings is equivalent to that. It's identity, right? Yeah. It's all based around the identity of each of the people coming through there. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. The guys are going to love that you guys write this down. Like go back and re-listen to what Aaron said because it is definitely a good cheat sheet for guys. We could all use a little help. And I'll say something on the topic of sex. Um, for men too, right? But I'm just literally talking about the level of how important feelings are for women. I mean, they are for men too, but... Um, and the type of sex and how it all gets handled is can change, obviously, but... Some of the best sex for women is the type of sex that makes us feel how we love to feel. Say more. <laughs> uh, well. Or should we just do a whole podcast on this? Because I know the guys will tune in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you choose. Do we have enough to do, do a whole episode? Uh, we, 
we could, or we could just do a little cliff note right now. Do a cliff note. Let's give. I mean, I don't want to keep the guys hanging. Okay. Um, like I said, so you know, sometimes you're, it's more wild. Sometimes you're making love, whatever. But I like I know for a fact that every woman really just wants to feel like desired, super sexy, like she is hot in the eyes of her man. Her man. Yep. Um, and so it's like that feeling if you can help her get to that feeling um through letting her know verbally through just like your action your desire for her the way you show up with your energy like your not just your body is there your whole being is there um that's the type of sex that feels really good for her awesome in a nutshell on that note <laughs> mm-hmm. awesome well thank you again for being here and taking the time I know you got a lot going on today and I really appreciate you breaking free yeah. to, to be thank here you. I always love doing this with you me too awesome well gentlemen that's a wrap for us as we always say in the moment of insight take massive action we'll see you next time on the TPM show